Today I'm going to talk to you about 7 pieces of camera gear under 50 bucks that I think every photographer and filmmaker should have in their camera bag. These are also excellent gift ideas for your partner, family member or friend that loves to take photos. The first item on my list is a small RGB light. There are tons of options out there so I'm just going to drop a link to a couple of different options in the description down below and there's also going to be links to every other product that I talk about in this video. I currently own a couple of RGB tube lights and I just absolutely love them and I think they're one of the best bang for buck camera gear investments that you can ever do because you can just do so much with them. You can for example use a small RGB light for a special color effect or you can use them as a practical like I do in all of my YouTube videos. You can hide them in places where you can never fit a regular sized light and I actually use a a uh, small tube light as my key light for my YouTube videos by bouncing it off the wall so you can make it seem a lot bigger than it actually is. Many of the small RGB lights also have magnets built into them so they can be attached to metal objects which just makes them even more handier and if that's not an option they're also so lightweight that you can tape them anywhere you want to. So if there is one takeaway from this whole video it is that small RGB lights are absolutely fantastic and when you buy the first one you are going to want more because they're just so damn amazing and I do still think they are one of the best bang for buck investments in terms of camera gear that you can ever do so if you buy anything off of this list make sure that it's a small RGB light. Now the second item on my list is a multi-tool. There are so often times when you need to for example tighten a screw on your camera plate or use tweezers or even use a knife that I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my multi-tool in my camera bag at all times. There are a million options out there when it comes to multi-tools but for example Ulanzi makes one that is specially designed for photographers so that's going to be a great option. Personally I have a Leatherman but it's not the best option for photographers because it's made for like outdoors and hiking and stuff like that so having a multi-tool that is specially designed for photographers would be a better option but having a multi-tool in the first place is going to be so much better than not having one at all so just look up options and find one that fits your budget. And as a bonus item for this list, there are actually multi-tools that are made to fit your keychain and those can be really really handy and I actually use my keychain multi-tool more than I use my Letterman because it's always available in my pocket. I always keep that multi-tool in my pocket so I don't have to go to my bag to get the Letterman. I can just grab my keys and I have my multi-tool ready to go. So I actually think the keychain multi-tool could be a better option than a regular multi-tool even though it's smaller and kind of seems flimsier but it gets the job done and it's always available so I'll just link down the one that I have because once again there are a hundred options out there. Moving forward there is a reason why pretty much every camera comes with a strap included in the box and that is why camera straps are the third item on my list. I think it is just something that you have to have in your camera bag period. There's no discussion about this. There are often times when you want to take the weight of the camera away from your hands and hang the camera around your shoulder or maybe you want to have the extra security so that you won't drop the camera or if you're in a crowded place and you don't want your camera to be stolen it's a very good idea to use a camera strap. Now the reason you'd want to buy a strap and not use the one included in the box is that you maybe don't want to run around with the camera brand written all over the strap just in case there are thieves nearby and they do recognize the camera brand and the kind of expensive models that may be written on this strap as well or maybe you just want to have a strap that is a bit more stylish and fits your look better. Some straps also are just better than others maybe they don't sweat as much or they distribute the weight better than others so there's definitely a lot of difference between different camera straps. The ones that I prefer are the Falcon Magling straps. They are great quality, they're pretty cheap, they look good and they also have magnets and I'm <laughs> kind of a sucker for magnets for whatever reason so there's that as well. But no matter which camera strap you get I'd highly recommend getting a quick release system with it. So for example the Falcon Maglink or the Peak Design Anchor Link because it's just going to be so much easier to take this strap off of your camera if you ever want to do that. Now moving on you don't always want to take or need to take all of the camera gear that you have with you in your big camera bag that can fit everything that you have so I'd highly recommend getting a small camera bag and that's why small bags are fourth on my list. I personally have two bags. I have one that can fit pretty much everything that I own and then I have a second bag that is just a tiny sling bag that can barely fit like one lens and a couple of spare batteries. It is so much nicer to walk around with a small lightweight bag that doesn't sweat your whole back as well if you know you're not going to need everything that you have. And actually this sling bag is the one that I pretty much always use while traveling because it's just so much nicer to walk around with a small sling bag rather than a big backpack. As with pretty much every item on this list that I have, the amount of options is massive so you can just find one that fits your style and it doesn't even have to be a camera bag specifically. 
I think the best sling bags for photographers are the Peak Design Everyday slings, but they're a bit more expensive. So if you want to get one that is under 50 bucks and made for photographers, I'd take a look at the Ulanzi sling bag. It's a knockoff from the Peak Design, but it's a lot cheaper and Ulanzi has very high quality products. The bag that I personally have is a pack safe bag that is actually not made for photographers, but it's rather made for travelers and it just works for my needs very well. So that's why I got that one. It's also a bit over 50 bucks, but it's a really good small bag for traveling. Now, moving on to the next item, I want to talk about small tabletop tripods. I'm definitely not a fan of carrying a tripod with me and I hate using tripods, but sometimes you just absolutely need one. So I usually take my Gorilla Pod with me because it's so lightweight to carry around and I can just strap it around my bag to take it wherever I go without really even noticing that I have it with me. When it comes to small tripods, I think the Gorilla Pod is absolutely the best option out there because you can twist those legs and mount it on pretty much any surface and even hook it around like a fence or a tree branch or anything like that. So it's just so damn handy. A Gorilla Pod that can carry a mirrorless camera isn't actually massively expensive either and it's really high quality. I've been using mine for I don't know how many years and I always use it for these YouTube setups. Right now my camera is sitting on my Gorilla Pod because I just prefer setting up the Gorilla Pod over the tripod. I actually use my tripod for my light, but you know, that's a different story. Next up, I want to talk about camera cleaning kits. And I'm not just talking about the microfiber cloth that everyone has rolling around their camera bag. That's not enough to clean your camera. Everyone is going to end up with a dirty lens or dust on your sensor, and you're just going to need to clean that up to get clean images. And that's why a basic camera cleaning kit is something every photographer and filmmaker must have. At minimum, there are three things you're going to want to have. A microfiber cloth, some sensor cleaning swabs and an air blower. Even though these are extremely simple little accessories, they are an essential part of a camera gear kit. Now, if you want to take your cleaning kit to the next level, I can highly recommend having an electric air blower. And that is the last item on my list. They are so much better than these small plastic ones that you had to squeeze to get the air out that I just had to have them as a separate item on this list. They'll blow off the dust from your lens or your sensor is so much better and I guarantee you, you will thank yourself for having one in your camera bag. I actually have to admit that I don't currently have one in my kit and I really hate myself for it and I just don't want to clean my camera anymore because I don't have one and I just don't want to use those squeezy little ones anymore because once you go electric you're not gonna go back to the manual air blowers at all. It's just you're gonna love it, trust me. But that concludes my list of 7 items under 50 bucks that I think every photographer should have in their camera bag. But if there's something else that I didn't talk about in this video, just drop a comment down below and tell me because it's very handy to learn from other creators and learn what they are using to create their content so that maybe I can buy or maybe someone else watching this video can buy those uh, pieces of gear based on your recommendations. So thank you for helping out and thank you for watching this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Shoo.